I custom designed these 3D printed brackets to hold these storage boxes for my electronics. I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I wanted some storage boxes for the larger electronics components and motors and things like that and I found these at Harbor Freight for only $4.99. They've got a lockable lid, a handle, and dividers I can remove. So now I just needed brackets to hold them to the wall. I measured the side of the box and these dimensions represent the side of it. It's 100 millimeters deep, 95 millimeters tall, and I only went 30 millimeters in to support it, which seemed like plenty. So I made that a hole and then brought in another box, which will actually be the bracket. So I lifted the hole up three millimeters and shoved it over three millimeters. So I'll have a three millimeter wall around this thing. So I made everything six millimeters bigger on both sides. And then I made it just 30 millimeters deep or width wise to hold the box. And then I realized I needed an opening on the side so I could slide the box in. So then I reduced the 106 down to 100 and then that left one side exposed. So once I had this in place, I was ready to group them together, except I wanted to chamfer the edges. And in the new Tinkercad, you can do this, the beta, you slide this radius thing. And I just had to move it slightly just to round the edges. And once I did that, it looked much better than just a square box. So I was ready now to group these together and make the bracket. So just grab them both, hit group, and there's the bracket. Now it looks really good. The only thing I need to add are holes for mounting screws. So the next step was to lay this thing down and then I moved actually the work plane on the side of it. Now you don't have to do it this way. I could have left it standing up but this was just good for me visually. And I made the holes five millimeters by five millimeters because I'm just going to use some drywall screws. And then I took that unit and then I duplicated it and then slid the duplicate over to the right. Well, I tried to here. It wouldn't grab it first. I had to like re-click on it <laughs> and, and then click off it. Sometimes Tinkercad gives me a little bit of headache unless I zoom in. So then I grabbed the extra one, slid it over to the right, and there's no exact dimension here. So I just kind of eyeballed it. And then what I actually did is grouped those two cylinders together as one unit. And the reason I did that is because then I can grab both of these, the box and the, the grouped cylinders, and then use the center tool, the align tool, to center it in both directions of the box. Now I needed to bring those in further so it completes the hole. And I just did that with a dimension from this plane that's on the side. So I made it minus 8 uh, millimeters, and that pushed them through. And then all I had to do was group these together, and that gave me the finished bracket with the two mounting holes. That's the bracket on one side and then the two holes. And what I'll do is I'll just print another one and flip it upside down because they're symmetrical. So it's not a problem. So all I needed to do was export this .stl, slice it, and I use Simplify 3D, and then send it off to my CR10 3D printer. The slicing was pretty standard. I did a 0.3 layer height, 30% fill, 215 degrees C, and 40 C on the bed. And I just used a cheap Inland PLA black. Came out great. Here's a close-up of the first set of brackets I made. I continue to be impressed with how smooth 0.3 layer height is on the CR10. So I lined up and marked the first set of brackets, made sure things were level and the box fit perfectly. Then I checked it for level and it was spot on. So now I could just lay the next set of brackets right on top of it. Now I used my power screwdriver to shoot the screws in and these are really long drywall screws but I can only get in about 80% because my bit was too short. So I had to finish it off with a hand screwdriver, which was kind of a pain, but it worked out great. And then the boxes slid in nicely. So I printed more brackets so I could put more boxes in place. And once I got those brackets printed, they shot right in place, and it didn't take long at all to put the boxes in. So overall, I think this is going to work really well, and I've got room for more boxes, so I think I'm going to go get some more. So this worked out really well. In fact, better than I expected. So I went back and got three more boxes while they're on sale and now I'm printing more brackets. I'll probably put one set here and then two more up here. I can reach them. So that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these other videos popping up. 
And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon goes a long way. And if nothing else, please click on that subscribe logo. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.